What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, we're going to show you guys how to get into the Temple DAO. All right guys, Temple DAO is a protocol that is built on Ethereum. They are looking to possibly go cross chain, so do keep that in mind. But today in this video guys, we are going to show you guys how you can sacrifice your fracks in order to get into the Temple DAO. They, it, it's just kind of like some lingo for basically just swapping your frax for temple uh, but i don't know they're they're just going along with the theme it is what it is and all kinds of stuff like you literally have to burn your incense in order to get this but we're going to show you guys how to do this uh it's kind of a little goofy but hey let's see how it rolls but first off a couple things you guys need to know about temple dow is it is not same the same thing as olympus dow so it is similar in the concepts that it's looking to be a quote unquote store of value in crypto compared to something like a stable coin. And what you need to know is this temple price is basically going to be backed by the assets that are deposited into the protocol. Now this is important because the assets they have that are being deposited into the protocol, they're pro possibly going to be talking about different strategies of actually depositing them and using them in DeFi to earn a yield. Now, I know you guys are seeing this number, this 3,687% APY, and this is if you're staking your temple token. There are a couple of other mechanisms involved for uh, actually keeping this price from booming and dumping. So this is actually a coin that's not set to moon, and it's also a coin that's not set to dump. It's looking for long-term, quote unquote, sustainable returns, yet it's 3,687% APY. Is what it is, but hey, if they can keep that going, we'll see how it rolls. So keep in mind, guys, if you guys are interested in the temple, do not invest more than you're willing to lose. This is DeFi. This is a risky protocol. And first off, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not a finan and this is not financial advice. I'm just going to show you guys how you can deposit into the temple. So, Sus Tom, this guy on Twitter, awesome, awesome thread. Uh, you can go ahead and check it out. But he basically breaks down how you need to do this. How do you get into the temple? Well, first off, you need to get into the Discord. So I pre-recorded this section, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to that section so you guys can see what's up. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and show you guys how this is done. There are a couple of steps involved. Um, first off, you need to do part zero. Part zero is like the opening ceremony ritual and you can voice verify. There is a shortcut, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that because I'd rather you sing I'm a Barbie girl. So go ahead and get in that voice chat and get that karaoke going. So have fun. That is part zero. That is just basically getting verified on the channel and you're a, well on the discord and you're able to play around. Next is the pilgrimage. This is something that you need to do. It, it's also kind of like really simple to do. We'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Next is, well, the pilgrimage. Um, it's pretty easy to do, but we're going to skip this part because we don't want to show you the shortcuts. And you need to use the I verify command in the verify yourself or NGMI channel. Let me show you what this guy looks like. So as you guys can see right here, there's a couple channels and then it's verify yourself or NGMI. And then you're basically going to do exclamation point verify. Then it's going to be like, yeah, this is awesome. You're Johnny and mine Jeff. And then it's going to be like, you got to wait 10 minutes because it's slow mode enabled. Then in response to observance is pleased and will grant stage two verification along, along with the Trogolo role. So next is you got to copy and paste this sun emoji. So this emoji right here, you literally just copy and paste that emoji. That's going to be step two. Then you got to wait 10 minutes again. Now this is the third verification. Now you need to do please join exclamation point verify voice. So it's verify voice verify yours. As you can see here, yes, it's Y O O O R S not Y O U R S. It's actually like a typo. I guess it's just like me magic. I don't know. It's on purpose. And that will give you the ultimate verification status. Now it's remember to pray. 
Um, I think that's just kind of like, yeah, this is kind of cool, whatever. Uh, but that is how you get the verification. And then that will take you to the next steps, which are pretty easy to complete as long as you understand how to do it. So let's go and get into that. All right, guys, so here are the steps. Hope you're not following me, but it's probably something. That's what we're going to select. And now we're just going to chit chat back and forth. It's all right, so the next one we're going to do is you do give up. So now it's just going to go ahead and play and just talk about some different stuff. And we just kind of sit there and stop or stay. And then we hit pray. So when you hit pray, it'll just start chit chatting. So you just kind of zoom and just wait. Now we're going to visit the whatever that word was. <laughs> I can't even read it on the screen. It's so tiny. Uh, but anyways, you're going to do that. It's going to read some stuff and it's going to say, whoa, what the snap? And we're going to do bridge um, or it says a couple of different things, but select bridge. And now a couple of things are going to come up and this is where you're going to start to get into the temple. So this is where like the fire sauce occurs. So there are five cubes. So keep that in mind. Remember that. And we're going to go to this screen. If you go back onto the Twitter, I'll show you guys it. But you basically have this like it's like a virtual reality type of thing it's it's kind of goofy um it took me a bit playing around with it um i don't know it's weird like you you press f to fly and you use the arrows to like move around and if you can't get it off your screen there's an escape button that actually allows you to move your mouse so at that point i was trying to move my screen but i figured out okay so i'm gonna select this cube this cube this cube this cube but if you guys remember back on that screen over there you look at it like a dial pad when I say dial pad, I, I kind of mean like um, a cell phone. Anyways, the numbers you need to remember are three, seven, eight, one, two. That is the organization of your boxes. And once you guys get the organization of your boxes, you are fire sauce. So I was still trying to play around with this a bit. So this little clip is going to look a little bit goofy. I would redo it again, but I can't really mess around with it too much. I already completed it. But you see how there's nine little uh, boxes. Um, it's die. It's in. It, it's kind of like a dial pad. So you have to remember the numbers three, seven, eight, one, two. So when you look at the boxes, just look at the third box like you would on a phone keypad. Keypad. So if you're on your phone or have your phone, look. This would be the third one in the right hand corner. So that would be the first box you put in. Then you need to do number seven. And then you need to do number eight, one, and then two. All right, so then after a bunch of cool stuff happens, and then you go back to the Discord channel. So when you go to the Discord channel, this is going to be where it takes you, and you need to type in knock, knock. So I'm going to like barely know what I'm doing, double type because my keyboard sucks, and then I do knock, knock, and then it says please provide to the Enclave or NGMI. So let's go in and find that sucker. So now I found this sucker and now I'm going to say, okay, let's pick the team that I want to be on. So I'm going to be on observance. And then I typed in logic. As you saw back in the previous paste, I did enclave and logic, because if you look right here, it says choose insert the enclave, da, 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 da. And I chose logic because that's what I wanted to choose. There's several others. Just look at the tweet that is on there. So basically, I got to wait like 24 hours until I can do the next steps. So I'm basically just going to sit here and wait. Do you see the different ones? You can do mystery, logic, order, structure, etc. I did logic. So now we're going to look at the other steps I can't do right now because I have to wait 24 hours. Normally, I would wait to do them. But if I wait, by the time it gets out, you guys will not be able to participate. So I'm going to play this game and play this whole game for the rest of this video. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. Uh, but I, I do want to show you some of the gameplay footage because it's kind of goofy and I don't know. Why not? So let's go into the temple. Let's see how this junk rolls. I'm going to name my name DeFast because I'm fast. And my name is D, you know, D fast, like D is fast. All right, so we see we can play around with all this junk, and this is kind of cool. So we move left, right, up, down, and I barely know what I'm doing. So you know what? I'm going to move forward because I figured out that the E button moves you forward. So let's move forward now. So I move forward, and I enter into the temple. 
So now I'm just swirling around and I, yeah, I died the first try. What a loser. Fat fingers, right? So now I step on this and I'm like, oh, what the snap? Oh, death. All right. So yeah, that's enough. I'm done. So I'm just going to wait it out and let's go ahead and show you the next step. The next step is select open door, close door, and find the hall of scriptures. So watch this video that I am doing. This 38 second video is going to have all the puzzles. Watch this video on slow speed, or you can go to the Twitter thread and watch it on slow speed yourself. It is fast, but watch where he pauses. So here you see he goes in the corner. There's a square right there. You saw he did a swirl thing. Remember that. There's another one. Remember that one. There's another one. Remember that one. There's another one there. Remember that one. And the fifth square is, let's go down and straight up. So you need to remember the sequences of those squares. Then you go ahead and put those in just like we did in the other ones. I'm going to replay it through so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now you completed that step and then a countdown timer will begin. After 24 hours, you will be able to complete the fracks. So that was a sped up version. Hope you guys can figure it out. It's a lot of fun. And on top of that, there will be some invites you will be able to give away to other people. There are two different ones. The only thing to mention with the invites is if someone has an invite, the most they can do is $10,000 or 10,000 fracs. And that is for two people. Uh, if you do it initially, like if you go through the ritual, you will actually get 1% per day. The invitees will only get 0.9% per day. And after this whole ritual is over, the most you can ever get is 0.7% per day. So if you guys are interested in this, you probably want to get started rolling on this. This is actually going to be dropped in the Discord before this is actually dropped on YouTube. So by the, by the time everyone on YouTube sees this, um, you'll still be able to participate. It'll just be a little bit later. And in the Discord, if you guys are a Discordian or someone on Discord and you guys are watching, I want to give out some of my invites. So after I get them in about 24 hours, I will do a giveaway to anyone who is in the Discord. Uh, well, a randomly selected two. So make sure you guys leave a comment in the description below if you guys are a part of Discord. If you guys are not a part, you guys can join. It's in the Patreon link in the description below. And you can be like, bro, this is me on Discord. You can send me your Discord tag and I'll be like, yeah, bro, that's you. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys do some research on Temple, Temple Dow, see what you guys think. And also, if you guys want to understand what we talk about in Discord, it's basically different farming strategies, different projects I'm looking at, different projects you guys are looking at. And well, we have a lot of alpha in there. There are people in that room way smarter than me. It's really not saying much at all, but they are very smart. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys smash up that like, and let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one line Let's see what Proverbs chapter 14, verses 4 says for us. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. That's so true, man. Those oxen, they're a bit messy, but they get junk done, dude. They get junk done. Are you that ox? Well, hopefully you're clean and get junk done. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next one. Y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.